What's up TGM Unbox? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, I have my 3D printer farm uh, going and I noticed that there's been an issue, especially with my Voxel Aquila 3D printers. Uh, it has to do with the, the Z-Rod and I'll show you the problem real quick. And we also should have a solution for it, hopefully in this video. Let's go. So this is the Aquila and I've also noticed the issue on this printer, the Voxel Lab Aquila, I think this is the X2 or something, or this is the X2. And even on my Ender 3 V2, uh, I've noticed this problem starting to get worse. And I was like, what is going on? So let me show you what the problem is first. I'm gonna manually raise the Z-Step. Let me, uh, if you can hear it. That does not sound good at all. And when that happened, I was like, is the rod not properly aligned? So I ended up removing it from the stepper motor um, and I realigned it, made sure everything was straight. I also checked and looked for metal shavings because I thought it could have been grinding up here um, and that would have been a good telltale sign if it was actually grinding metal, but I didn't really find any. So I was like, okay, it's it's just a massive squeaking noise and I was wondering why it, it's happening. I thought it could be an issue with the actual part that holds it in um, or just the rod, but here, let me do it again. Yeah, that sounds horrible. So I went on some forums and people said you should get some 3D printer grease, uh, and that is what we have here, just grease, 10 grams, three bottles. There's really cheap on Amazon. There's the uh, little skew thing. So basically I'll have a link for it down below, but hopefully this works. Um, let's rip her open. I'm gonna grease this one, grease this one. Uh, and then this is in the middle of a print, so I won't grease it now. But what I would notice is it, when it goes down, it creates so much vibration when it's squeaking up against it that like it could actually leave artifacts in this printer. Um, and then sometimes even the following printers around it just because it really vibrates all over um, and it's not very good. So we are going to go ahead and do that right now. Let me rip this thing open and we can get started. Okay, so here's the little tube. I just ended up cutting off the little tip. Um, so it should come out once I squeeze it. So let's actually get a little bit closer. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, it does uh, apply itself. I'm going to actually put as much as I can and then manually raise it. Um, and then hopefully it gets in between all the other screw sections on the, on the other side. Um, I'm gonna be pretty liberal with it because I believe this came with grease or lube or something. Um, and I think it just wore off after like, like countless hours of prints. But this was like the main issue that I've had with this Aquila. And this is the Aquila X2. Um, if you want a review of any of these printers, let me know. I have two of these uh, cheaper Aquilas, the X2, Ender 3 V2, Ender 3 Pro, and uh, also a resin printer from any cubic. Yeah, I should be having some more 3D printer content out there. Let me go manually raise this a couple times and hopefully the squeakiness goes away. Okay, I am back. So basically uh, I just finished putting it all on there. I'm gonna screw it up. Uh, I just wanna kind of like film it while I'm raising it just in case it sounds really good or really bad. But I put quite a bit on there and this bottle is like full. So uh, that this one bottle will be able to uh, grease up all my other printers. So that's pretty affordable. I mean, uh, and I have the two other bottles. So if I ever get new printers or if I need to do this every couple months, that's not an issue. So yeah, just screwing it around. It does look like there's a little bit of an excess. I might even put too much on, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Also, this was like specifically meant for 3D printers. I'm pretty sure I probably could have just used WD-40. Um, you wanna make sure that it's like, it can't be conductive. Like you don't wanna accidentally have some issue go through with your printer while you're printing. But wow, this is a, uh, it's actually a lot of work. I could have definitely just used OctoPrint to have it raise it for me, but whatever. I uh, I do really wanna test this because I noticed the issue isn't really when I go up. It's, it's more or less when I go down, so. We're gonna have to see how that works. I mean, I never raise my printer this high. I never print this tall, but I guess it's good to have it up here just in case I do. Wow, okay, whoa. So this is like the before, or no, this is this is the after right here. And then that's the before you can see the silver. And now this is with all the grease. That's uh, pretty awesome. I think that's about as high as I'm gonna raise it because I don't want this to get crushed. But I mean, I think this printer has printed for like almost 20 days straight in time or whatever since I bought it. So, I mean, it's printed a lot and I, I haven't really modded anything. I don't even think I swapped the hot end on this one. I think this one's completely stock, but ooh, we're almost there. Might as well go to the top, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, now it's time to lower it. Fingers crossed. No, no sound yet. I do notice the sound is heavier uh, the further we go down. So let's see. But wow, that's, I mean, it's going down pretty smooth. Like it's definitely pretty smooth while we're pulling it down. 
Um, I would have noticed some noise and some vibrations by now, but wow. <laughs> also, the, the rod is just shinier now. That's cool. I didn't notice, or I didn't know it would have made such a big difference. And there we go. That is awesome. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, so it just, it just touched and uh, no weird, loud, annoying noise. I might use a little bit of a rag to clean up that extra. I don't want that accidentally getting on the filament or something, but holy cow. That really changed that squeaky, loud, obnoxious noise, and it's just gone now. That's awesome. Hopefully my prints will be more stable. I'm gonna try it on this one. Uh, like I said, all my printers have started to get this problem, which is weird, but I mean, we are in like a really low humidity area, like in the, in the basement. I have the dehumidifier running so I can have my filaments out, um, and they're usually really dry. So I don't know if that could have dried off the stock grease um, because I think there was some like really thin amount of grease when I opened all these printers up. But if you have this issue, let me know down below and I would recommend trying this if you do have that issue. I mean, it worked really well for me. I'm, I'm, I'd hope that it would work really well for you as well. Um, if you pull her down, you can kind of hear it. It's like starting to be bad. Yeah, so that was like how this one started. It kind of started sounding like that. And then like a week or two later, it got really bad. So I'm happy I was able to fix this problem early. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, I'll have to do it on all these printers once this one's done. Thank you for watching. That was the, uh, I guess, uh, 3D printer grease. It worked pretty well, super easy to apply. Let me know what you think. The link for this will be down below on Amazon. Really fast shipping, of course. I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.